everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my February favourites. What is this? It's already March, like what the hell? I don't even understand, but whatever. Let's just get into the favourites. So in no particular order, I'm going to start off with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I went off using this for a little while, but then I got way back into it through the month of February and I've been absolutely loving it. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about the undertone of it. It just looks so incredibly beautiful with every makeup look that I do. Like I use it on a daily basis, absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. If you don't own it, you need to at least try it on your face. It's absolutely beautiful. The Anoxa Skin Perfecting Pore Vanishing Cream. Now this claims to help minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines and it definitely does do that. Um, I only put it really in this area where I have some pores and it's really really strange. It like lightens and provides a little bit of a tint as well that kind of reduces redness which I think is really really cool. But yeah, I've been absolutely adoring that. The only bad thing about this is I wish it came in a bigger tube just because there's only 10 mils in this so I feel like it will run out very very fast. This one has been a favourite of mine for a very, very long time, but I don't think that I've ever given it the love that it deserves, at least in a monthly favourites video. At least none that I can remember. This is the NARS Coco Cabana Liquid Illuminator. This is the most beautiful thing that I've ever put on my cheeks. I'll put it either underneath or over my foundation, and no joke, I always get compliments when I wear this. Always, 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 always. It's the most beautiful thing ever. Get a sample. Seriously, it's so incredibly beautiful. Dare I say another bronzer? This is the Chanel Soleil Tan D Chanel. This is a cream bronzer. Um, what video did I show this in? I would have shown this in my Valentine's Day Get Ready With Me, I think. Ah, the smell of this stuff is just heavenly. Um, it is a little bit more on the orange side, but it is definitely a very, very beautiful cream product. I apply mine with a stippling brush, and I have no idea where it is right now. I thought I put it on my table, but I didn't. Um, that's why mine's got those random little poke holes in it. But yeah, I apply mine with a stippling brush, and I have no problems whatsoever. It's so incredibly gorgeous, and I do use this underneath the powder bronzers. For powder highlight, I've been absolutely adoring the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Highlight 01. Now this is not matte, but it is a very, very finely milled shimmer. It's absolutely gorgeous on the skin and I would highly recommend it. Like seriously, it is so pigmented, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. Two eyeshadows that I've been loving so much over the past month have been these two from Makeup Geek. I did purchase these with my own money. Um, this one is in the shade Creme Brulee and this one is in the shade Mocha and I'll swatch them for you. I don't know if you'll be able to see Creme Brulee because it's like basically just the tiniest bit different from my skin tone but you can see Mocha. Um, yeah, I highly doubt that you can see Creme Brulee but it's just the most beautiful colour when I put it on the eyes. just the most perfect transition colour and I've been using it almost every day, just these two colours for work. I absolutely adore them. And I definitely want to pick up a few more Makeup Geek products, but I'm so worried about like the shipping time. Like it takes ages for the stuff to get here. Okay, so for eyebrows, I've kind of been switching up the products that I've been using to fill in my eyebrows, but the product that I've been using to set them has been the same. This one is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade medium slash dark. And this stuff is great. I absolutely adore it. It is so, so, so good. It's so affordable. It's the best eyebrow gel that I found in the drugstore. Um, I do definitely like it more than that Maybelline one. I did like the Maybelline one when I first started using it, but since I've gotten this, this has been way better. The formula is just way, way, way more convenient and it's less sticky. It's hard to describe, but I know, I know why I like this one more in my head. It's really, really hard to describe. I'm so sorry. I should have included this at the start, but I've been using this Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush so much for my foundation. Literally, I was using it probably three weeks straight in February. Not even kidding. It's just so, so, so good. It doesn't apply your foundation too thick, but it doesn't make it too thin either that it makes like like it makes it look like you've put nothing on. Like it just gives a perfect amount of coverage and it just makes any foundation look gorgeous. Last two products are obviously lip products. So my favorite lip balm of the month has to be the Nukes lip balm. It smells like lemon cream. 
it's so good and like I'll just put the tiniest bit on if I'm using it in the daytime but in the nighttime I like to just slather my lips in this I love it so much that I have two so good such a good investment seriously if you want a good lip balm definitely try the nukes one it's great and then lucky last is my favorite lip color for the month when I bought this, I wasn't a big fan of it, but since the weather's been a bit more like gloomy and stuff, I really have been liking this one. This is by Bite Beauty and it's in the shade Glace and it's a part of their matte color lip crayon line. I bought mine from Sephora for I think 30 bucks and yeah, I really, really, really do like this one. I can swatch it for you guys. It's that color down the bottom and no joke, I just love it so much. It's so, so, so good. But yeah, so guys, that's all the products that I have to show you for the month of February that I've been absolutely adoring. I'm sure I missed out on a few products, but you'll definitely see them in future videos. Um, yeah, so definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.